Let me start at the beginning. October 6, 2017 was World Teachers Day. And to celebrate, we decided to do a charity event to help refugees learn English. To raise money, we read every word in the Oxford Dictionary of English live on YouTube. And we sold hot dogs. And now comes the best part. Visiting the refugees and giving them the materials. Now, this should be a sad story, but it's not. It's a story of love. This is the city of Athens in Greece. And for people fleeing the conflicts in Syria and Afghanistan, this is their gateway into Europe. Down there is the Victoria Social Center. That's where they're giving English classes to these refugees, hoping to try and give them some type of future. Let's go and meet some people. This is Patricia. She started the charity three years ago with a friend. Why did you decide to start doing this? Because uh, I went to Lesbos the first time because I see, like, we were all seeing what is happening, this tragedy. And I, I, I think I have to do something for these people. I have to do something. I've been in many countries, there is a lot of poverty. Also. But the main difference is that these people were not poor before. The poor one still in Syria because they don't have money, or in Afghanistan, they don't have money to pay the smugglers, they don't have money to come here. The poor ones are still in Syria. And here, let's say, they come the richest one or the one Like that doctors has. and, and, and yes. architects and... Yes. It's incredible. It's incredible to think that, that, that this represents the rich people of that country. It just, it, 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 I can't believe it. I, I believe that a majority of people have a social conscience. Right? That, of course, I, I don't think anybody wants to see children dying and people suffering and no one wants to see that. But maybe it feels very distant, right? The people forget Yugoslavia. Yugoslavia is in Europe. can happen tomorrow to England or to Spain or to... Yeah. The people don't realize about this. Yeah. That it can happen to any place in the world in, in any moment. This is Patricia's dog, Pirata. It's a menace to society. It bit me twice in two days. But it has a European passport. Now, let's meet someone who doesn't have a passport. What's your name? My name is Hala. Hala. I, I love... I love saying this name, Hala. <laughs> Is that good pronunciation? Thank you, and you? What's your name? My name's Christian. Christian? Yes, I, I'm an English teacher. English teacher? Yeah. Like my father! Oh, really? <laughs> what What was the situation? Why Why did you leave Syria? Uh, because the war. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the war destroyed my, uh, my house and my school, our hospitals and our city. So I, there is no, there is no life there. So we ran out from Syria to came, maybe to to find another life here. Yeah, I mean, you know, I, I come from Australia, mm -hmm. which is a very rich country and a very safe country. Yeah. And you know, I can't, I can't even imagine, um, you know, having your country destroyed. Yeah. Or 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 maybe you, like. Like hospitals, and it's it's just I can't, I can't imagine it. F for me, for me, the thing, the the question I have is, I mean, you're you're smiling, <laughs> you know, and you're and you're laughing. I mean, how? How I can laugh? Yeah. And how? But after after what happened with me? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, of course, you know, there is a lot of people who lose who lose that smile and who lose that love in in the war. But also, the war teach us we have to get strong. We, that, that's like a lesson for us. Even we are really, really so young and so small, but we have to, <laughs> we have to know that. Yeah, we, for me, I am brave. I am brave. Yeah, really yeah. brave, wow. <laughs> there, is, there, is, there is people who just uh, in the home and doing nothing, 
and just say why why me why me why the other people why the another country why just me for me no amazing <laughs> you you are so inspirational it's <laughs> It's incredible. Thank you so much. Oh, really? Wow. <laughs> what about your hobbies? Do you do you have any hobbies? Like, yeah. yeah. To go in because I I am the first in my class. Um, really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It's so good. <laughs> yeah, and I my dream or not my dream? Maybe the next year I will go to another country like UK or Holland mm. or maybe Spain to continue my study. I want to be surgery. Oh, a surgeon! <laughs> wow. Um, I think you would be a great surgeon. I think because, you know, the number one important characteristic of of any doctor mm -hmm. is compassion, is is love. Yeah. Really, you have to love the people, and and I think you're full of a lot of love, right? <laughs> I hope that one day in the future, mm -hmm. when I have heart problems, that 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 <laughs> no, you no, 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 no. that that you that you you are my surgeon. <laughs> you come in with your mask and and. <laughs> That would be the perfect thing for me. No, I don't think... I don't want to be... I don't want to be... <laughs> Later, I got a chance to talk to the volunteers and meet Judith, who teaches English to the children. How long have you been here in, in Africa? I arrived two weeks ago and I'm gonna stay one month. Okay. Yes. <laughs> and after two weeks, um, what's, your, what's your feeling about, about being here? and? It's what, complicated. What it's a nice feeling, uh, sometimes very emotional, mm -hmm. but at the end of the day, it's really. Mm, I I feel myself really uh, grateful with the kids yeah. because I am only with children the whole day, uh -huh. and and yes, it's very. It's impressive how they talk about the the stories and oh really yes how they came here and all the things it's always like yeah we came in a boat with water <laughs> with water to here and it was like ah oh, yeah okay nice <laughs> okay really, really? <laughs> and yeah and 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 they laugh a lot and you are like I want to cry but you are laughing so okay wow. that's nice <laughs> but yeah, I, I learn a lot about. About maybe positivity. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> now for the exciting part. All of these are the books and the teaching materials that I bought with the money that you all very generously donated. And thank you very much. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and now we're going to um, we're going to put them put them over here, and, and tomorrow the, the the kids can start using them. There's, there's a lot of books here. There's, <laughs> this, this is going to take a long time yes. to put all these away. There's, hun nice. there's hundreds nice. of books. <laughs> so now the kids have a whole library of books from starter all the way up until level three. There's all these books and these books here. <laughs> <laughs> and a very, very happy teacher. <laughs> The next day, they loaded a van with children's toys for a refugee camp outside Athens called Scaramagas. Scaramagas is one of the two biggest camps near Athens. Is it a, a building? No, no, no. Are, uh, they call here caravans. You know, it's like containers. And one container is used to be shared by two families. They have one toilet in common and two families container. This place is crazy. 
like containers, just <laughs> containers. I've never seen anything like it. After giving out the presents to the children at the camp, Patricia introduced me to a family living in Scaramagus. How long have you been living here? Uh, two years and one month. Okay. And that's a long time. Uh, very long time. <laughs> yeah. And where, where are you from? Uh, from Syria. Syria. From Syria. My village there near the Jordan. But now in the Syria. Uh, is a very difficult life, very difficult and very dangerous, very dangerous. Before I come here, my son study in the school, in the Syria. Sometimes the government bump to the school. I say that some children is, uh, is feel is very young. You are, you are smiling. <laughs> and, 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 you know, how, how do you, how, how are you positive? How, how? It's my face is smile, but my heart not smile. My heart is very sad. So I have daughter live in Syria. No, my, my daughter live in Syria. She is married and has two sons. And sometimes I speak with she. Sometimes very cry because it's dangerous. I don't have milk to hear children. Yeah, it's very I'm difficult. smile, but my heart very sad. I hope my son in the future uh, study in the university in the Germany medicine. Okay. Yeah, to be a doctor. Because because uh, if come back to Syria. Any time, I don't know, uh, after two, uh, two years, three years, ten years, I don't know, help the viewer. Some people cut uh, hand and cut uh, leg is a very problem. I hope, I hope he help the viewer. Your, your dad yeah. want, wants you to be a doctor? Yeah, I want to be a doctor. Yes? Yeah. But you, you know that if you want to be a doctor, you have to work really I hard. Know, I know that. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to work hard to be a doctor, to become a doctor. And I like this this job. And I'm, I want to be a doctor to help the people like who doesn't have money. Because I saw a lot of things here, you know. Like they, there is some people doesn't have any money, and they need help, and there is no one to help them. You, you're, you're, you're a joker. You're always joking and yeah, and like laughing. Joking. I like joking a lot. I don't. I, I, I mix my life joking and to be happy. You know, if I will not joke with, or I will be sad. You know, I will be tired. Every time I have a problem in my life that I think is a big problem, I will think no. No, no problem. No. <laughs> oh man, oh man, nice thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm standing here on this, on this pier, you know, on this, on this beautiful coastline you know, in, in Greece. This is the Mediterranean Sea, this is Europe, and and I'm here in this in this camp and I'm I'm sitting with a guy. I'm sitting with a guy who's telling me about how a bomb literally fell into his house when when he was um when he was <laughs> this guy <laughs> Very beautiful. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, Hello. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> get it, get it. <laughs> it's the people here are just incredible. Like, I don't, no, 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 nobody that comes here can 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 not be affected by the display of humanity. 
and and it's not it's not actually a sad thing it's like people who've been through so much they find the strength to to smile and to laugh and um, you know maybe hope I don't know but um, it really it really puts things into perspective sitting there laughing and smiling with those people who had gone through so much I remembered something that Patricia said to me during our interview as human beings I think we are more individualist and more selfish every time they are and lucky I am happy because all the people that come here to help don't belong to that this group I am describing, but in general, I think that we are becoming all we, we, more selfish, more individualist, more isolated. Yeah. So, if you ask me, uh, I, hope, I don't know, I don't have hope. hope. Uh, what is happening in Syria for me now, what happened before in Iraq, is something that we, for me, we all, all of us should be in the street protesting and making demonstration against what is happening now. but we are all in our house sitting in our sofas watching the TV how the children die and we are not making nothing. The solution could be that simple. Be less selfish, share more, don't forget about these people who need our help because one day it could happen to you. Before I went to Athens, I asked a student of mine to translate a message into Arabic so I could play it for the refugees when I arrived. Assalamu alaikum. Ana ismi Christian. Wa amalu ka mudarris. Alyom ana ahmilu lakum mai risala. Antum mawjudun al ana huna. لأن كل واحد منكم قد فقد شيئا أقارب وأصدقاء فقد بيته وبلده لقد عانيتم الكثير وأنا آسف على ذلك لكن أنا اليوم هنا معكم لأقدم لكم رسالة أمل أنا اليوم هنا لأقول لكم أن البشرية لا زالت بخير للذين لا يعلمون هنا أن كثيرا من الناس عبر العالم قد ساهموا بوقتهم ومالهم ليمدوا يد العون لكم وها أنا اليوم هنا لأعبر عن حبهم لكم كل ما عانيتموه سيبقى دائما جزءا من حياتكم لكن لن يكون عنوانكم ولن يحد من عزيمتكم ولن يكون مستقبلكم على الإطلاق هذه فرصتكم يكون منكم الطبيب والعالم ورجل الإطفاء والممثل والكافر أفوق لنرى ماذا ستقدمون في المستقبل واعلموا وأنتم تشقون طريقكم أن العالم يحبكم ويريد أن يراكم سعداء شكرا لكم